Now, what do you think of his two coin picks? Uh, I Cardano. Think I mean, I think they're, those are, you know, Neo. Neo is, is they call it the Chinese Ethereum. Um, you know, there's some interesting things about them. These things all trade together right now. There's high correlation. Um, it's extremely volatile. You look at 90-day rolling correlation on Bitcoin, it's 5%. So to get the 5,300 is like two days trading, right? So just, I think that's the, the point I'd make is that this is extremely volatile. It's new tech. I agree with him. Um, doesn't really matter what you buy right now. They're all going down. So um, I, I do believe in a balancing your portfolio. And if you haven't seen a previous video, I kind of talk about it more. But let's go ahead and let him finish. Technology and just, you know, you got to be able to deal with the volatility. So, yeah, I mean, that was pretty much it. Um, so I personally, like I said, I haven't been touching any altcoins. I've just been buying stuff on Coinbase. I did actually pick up some Zcash too because they have that on Gemini. Um, but my mo my personal opinion is just a dollar cost average to this market. I wouldn't really worry about like what coin is going to do better than any, any coin. But at the same time, you don't want to have it where your portfolio is kind of all over the place. And also, I was going to kind of just go into more detail of what happened to my channel. So if you guys are a fan or even you, you know you're one of the haters and you like trolling me um for whatever reason youtube is not allowing me to post until they figure out what's going on with cnbc they basically put a bunch of like cop copyright claims on my content um and obviously if they let it go i'm probably going to continue to only just on that other channel the channel that everyone subscribed to um i'll only post non-cnbc content maybe a, once in a while on this channel, I'll throw in the CNBC videos and comment on it. But um, yeah, so that's the issue. Basically, CNBC didn't want me commenting on their videos and uh, they're able to right now block my YouTube account. Um, I am going to probably use other uh, venues and I should have. Uh, there's obviously Steemit and um, I was posting on Facebook for a while, but uh, now that I'm making these videos and in a little while, I'll probably go ahead and get a steam it up. And that steam it will probably be like, if you're someone who really likes watching my content, I would probably just go to the steam it. So I don't have to deal with this BS with YouTube and Facebook and the copyright stuff. Cause at the end of the day, I'm just sharing news, which I believe is the public domain. And if you look at the end of the video, and like I said, I'm giving content, uh, my own comments and my own thoughts. So it's not like I'm just Re, you know, replaying it and monetizing it or whatever. Um, and like I said, I haven't got a dime from YouTube. I haven't made any money. Uh, I just personally do this because I like to watch financial information or financial news and then just give my own opinions. Um, and some of you guys love it. Some of you guys don't. Um, but I'm just here. And uh, if you ever want more interaction because I don't interact that much on YouTube, highly recommend you uh, follow me on Instagram. And if you don't use Instagram, um, I don't know what to tell you, man. It goes down to the DM. You can meet a lot of cool chicks on Instagram. <laughs> Anyways, uh, thank you for watching, and I will talk to you soon.